Okay guys, here's a picture of the Dash 1 with the combination of new and old bubble plates. We have a look down the bottom first, you can see it's bubbling away beautifully. Second plate, bubbling away beautifully. Third plate's a bit hard to see, but that's going just the same. And the top plate's going the same, so it looks like they're all running full, loaded. It's currently in 100% reflux. So all I've got out so far is a little bit of the fours. Uh, they came through when I was running the machine on 3600 watts. I've now pulled the machine back and I have it running on 10 amps, which is somewhere around the 2400 watt mark. All right, now as you see with this dash, it's a bit of a hybrid. I look all the way up here, we can tell I've got a 500 mil approximately section uh, cooling in the bottom, heat out the top, uh, long extension all the way down till we get to the parrot. So it took roughly 20 to 30 minutes to warm up on two elements. You see I've got down the bottom there two elements. Uh, like I said, 3600 watts and it was starting to power through. I haven't adjusted water, I haven't done anything else. I've just hooked it up uh, exactly as you should with wire joiners. Pretty rough because I haven't quite sorted out where my plumbing's going to go. But at the moment, the main thing is uh, all four plates are bubbling. Uh, to me, they look like they're almost bubbling exactly the same. So, uh, But I could be wrong. Okay, I think it's about time I switch her over and start collecting some product. So I'll just pause this and we'll try again. Okay guys, we're back on. Now we just got a little bit of a uh, drip happening here. This is the first uh, lot of product coming back out. Uh, tell you what, it took a long time to adjust that water back. I've got a feeling that uh, very, very efficient. It's currently running on about 55 degrees outlet water. Uh, in real terms, I've got no idea what that means, but I can tell you what that uh, reflex up there took a lot of screwing back to uh, get a product to come out. So it's obviously running very efficient. Plates are still bubbling away. Uh, bottom one with the long slots. The second plate with all the long slots. Third plate, bit hard to see, but that's got the short slots. And the top plate has got the short slots. Alright, so it looks like we're going to collect a little bit here and then uh, I'll switch over and start collecting actual product. So the aim today is to try to get 96% uh, vodka, it's a tomato paste wash that's been stripped. Uh, it's probably 30 litres of stripped tomato paste wash, plus I did add about 10 litres of uh, unstripped just to top it up. All right, the section here you can see is about 500 mil. is full of stainless steel scrubbers, uh, just held in by themselves, nice and tight. And I did put a few bits of stainless steel scrubbers in the D flag too, just as per uh, recommendations. But I don't think it's actually needed because it's taken an, almost the water to just the barest trickle to, to allow me to get something out. So I was quite surprised. I've had to wind the valve uh, back quite a bit. Anyway, I'll pause it again for a minute. I'll uh, get my collection jars ready. One thing I do notice that when you have these kegs on legs, like I have down here, uh, very convenient, but I tell you what, it makes the height of the machine fairly big. I'd suggest I'm probably looking at around about 10 foot. Anyway, I'll get a tape measure later and we'll, we'll measure it and sort it out. But that is a 500mm TC extension uh, down into the product condenser. And I still need to have a stand to collect my product out of the parrot. Alright, once again, I'll pause it and we'll get back. Now guys, I just measured that uh, big monstrosity. It's actually a little bit over 8 foot tall. And I reckon I've got about another four and a half foot before I hit the top of the uh, shed. So I've actually got a one meter, four inch uh, section to go on top. So if this doesn't work, we'll try a one meter one later. 
All right, now I've just done a bit of a swap around with jars here. First jar is obviously fours. Second jar, I'll get a few heads out and then I'll start collecting uh, product. Okay, guys, uh, product's just about ready to flow again because I made some uh, you know, amateur mistakes. I did some adjusting up and down. But anyway, we're starting to get the old float and uh, hopefully we'll get some product coming out. I might actually turn this light off and see if we can get a proper fix. But going on this, I'd say we're right on the money for 96. I'd say perfect. So, another amateur mistake there. Put the jar underneath. But of course you learn from your mistakes. That's why there's actually a drip container. Right, right on the money. Uh, I'll turn the light off and see if we can get a better shot. Now, here we go, see if we can get a bit of focus going. Bit hard to see. That's it. Right on the money. So, for me, that is absolutely perfect. All I need to do is work out how fast I can run this baby. So, at the moment, I'm still sitting on. I oh, know 10, 11 amps. I got a feeling I can push that up a bit faster and get the product out faster. In the background there, you'll see I have three 15 amp power points, uh, all being wired back into a subboard. Uh, plenty of other power points around the place, and Curiosity, uh, a usage meter, tells me how much uh, I'm actually using in power. That's house and shed. Uh, solar power, which of course, when we're using this. And I guess I'm producing at the moment 3,000 watts, and I'm using 3,000 watts, so call it square. So I'm not making any money, but it's not costing me anything to run this little baby. And all bubbles are going through nicely still. There you go, take the light off. Bubble, 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 and bubble, bubble, bubble. So, um, Temperature's 56 point something, so whether that's good or bad, you guys can yell out. But very happy with the uh, result. Um, I will play around, see if I can screw the output a little bit and get a bit, bit more speed happening. But uh, I'll sign off. So uh, for interest, 1,000 litre cooling tank, a submersible pump into a bigger hose. That's a green hose you can see going around there. Uh, it's very, very messy at the moment because I need to re-plumb the whole thing. And the most annoying thing out of the lot, one connector's bloody leaking. So, hence the bucket underneath. Wouldn't that give you the absolute shits? And a few fermenters going in the background. Some tomato paste washers. A um, couple of whiskey washers in there. They'll be ready to run in about two weeks, I think. And that's it. I'll sign off and... We'll make this about eight or nine minutes on YouTube.